Today's topic is activity diagram. Mostly we draw activity diagram uh, before software development. So let's start uh, this uh, discussion on activity diagram. Activity diagrams. Use case says show what your system should do. As it was discussed in quite detail, the function of use case, the purpose of use case is to show the high level functionality or user requirements and how user interact with these functionalities. Means in simple words, use cases were was about the high level functionalities. And activity diagram allow you to specify how your system will accomplish its use cases. So from start, from beginning to end, the activity diagram shows how the use cases are uh, achieved by your system. And the name show activity. So activity diagram dynamically show how process of activities are executed. Elements of activity diagram, actions and activity, object nodes, control flows and object flow. And these are the control nodes, initial activity, final activity, final flow, decision, merge, fork and joining and swim lanes. So we will cover all these things, all these elements in this video lecture. The basic conventions, a rounded rectangle shows an activity. So when we represent activity, it will be represented using this rounded shape. This is activity one, this is activity two. And this arrow represent a transition from one activity to another. This means when this activity uh, is accomplished, so the next activity will be activity two. So arrow is pointed from this activity one to activity two. And this is the end and this is the uh, starting beginning. So the first activity is this and then it is uh, uh, passed to this. So transition is from activity one to two and then uh, activity two finishes. Starting point represented by fill circle and ending point represented by a bull's eye. So uh, this is the fill circle and this is the bull's eye shape. So these are the basic conventions. Every, every activity diagram must have these four things. The start, the end, the arrow and activity. The rest are not necessary. Maybe uh, these four are enough to represent the whole system but the system activity diagram must have these four basic conventions decisions in activity diagram is a very important in certain points we reach to take a system reach to take some decision so one set of condition leads to one path Another set of condition leads to another path and two paths are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means that both cannot be executed in parallel. Only one will be executed. Decisions can be represented in two ways. Possible paths coming directly from activity like this. So, these are two paths coming directly from activity. Activity transition into small diamond from where possible paths flow. And this is the second way of representing the same scenario. So this is a wake up activity and when wake up activity happens, so two paths are here. One is hungry, one is not hungry. So if the person is hungry, eat, by, uh, eat breakfast not hungry go to sleep and then these two then finishes so one will happen it is not possible that 
a person is both hungry and not hungry so we can represent it uh, using a um, diamond this is a diamond uh, sign small diamond uh, sign so wake up and then two parts hungry not hungry not hungry go to sleep and if hungry eat breakfast and then finishes so this is the decision node so decision is taking and these are mutual exclusive means both will not happen at a time only one thing will happen either hungry or not hungry so this is the mutual cons uh, ex exclusive concept so remember that in decision we will have only one possible path to be executed concurrent paths concurrent paths means that activities can run in parallel unlike the mutual exclusive we are as you see only one path execute here both path in parallel can execute sometime a transition needs to be separated into two paths that runs concurrently and then come together the split transition in two path is represented a solid board line drawn perpendicular to transition so this is a transition and this is a perpendicular board line so this is activity this is a start then uh, from start it is towards the activity and then activity is toward to further more activities and these two this is a workout so if someone work out then uh, he take a shower and for the relaxation so these two uh, run execute in a parallel so if two um, activities are concurrent so we draw a bold line um, perpendicular to the uh, this uh, arrow and then both ends up uh, and finishes the paths are shown as coming out of the lines for merge the paths will point at another solid bold line so this is the merging concept so these two then merge and then points to the finishing sending and receiving signal is another property of uh, activity diagram during the sequence of activity it is possible to send a signal the symbol for sending a signal is a convex polygon you can see this is a complex polygon the signal when received cause an activity to take place so this means for some activity to be initiated we send a signal message so the one activity sends signal message to another activity so the received signal is shown by a concave polygon let's uh, see this example starting press channel number so you have a remote and you are pressing some mm, number then change uh, channel occur but it will send a signal and show new channel on the television and then watch so you can then watch and then finishes let's take example of creating a document and explain it using activity diagram so sequence of activities required for using an office suit to create a document so the first activity is open the word processing package then create file then save the file under unique name within its directory or folder type the document if graphics are necessary open the graphics package create the graphics and paste the graphics into document then in step 6 if spreadsheet is necessary open the spreadsheet package create the spreadsheet and paste the spreadsheet into document and then save the file print hard copy of the document and exit the office suit so let's see this first activity is open the word pro processing package create file save file type document and then there is condition if graphics needed so if graphics needed so Uh, it will open a new graphic package and then will return here to this activity but if graphics not needed so this will directly come here so these two conditions mutually, mutually exclusive conditions uh, are here during decision then tables not needed and tables needed so if table needed 
it will open a new spreadsheet if and then will come here and if not needed then it will come directly here save file print hot copy exit office suit hope you understood this example now there are some actions actions and activities are performed for some specific business reason yes obvious like this example uh, you can see there is some business purpose of this so we must have some business purpose and to achieve that business purpose actions are required actions and activities can represent the manual or computerized behavior they are depicted in activity diagram as a rounded rectangle furthermore they should have name that begins with the verb and ends with the ends with the noun so remember that uh, action is a small word small thing this means one activity can involve many actions an action is simple non decomposable piece of behavior this means action cannot be further decomposed is labeled by its name an activity is used to represent a set of actions is labeled by its name so we can represent activities activity as a set of different actions the only difference between action and activity is that an activity can be decomposed further into set of activities whereas an action represent a simple non decomposed piece of overall behavior being model and i already said this furthermore in most cases each activity will be associated with a use cases yes obviously and this is the purpose of activity to accomplish the uh, use cases so one activity can Uh, um, represent one use cases or more use cases the activity diagram in this figure shows six separate but related activities for typical appointment system used in a doctor office so the system goal is to the system goal is uh, the appointment system used in a doctor office so let's start this is a start the activity first is get patient information so there are two possibility if the person is new patient so create a new patient if not it means it is a old patient already registered so it will come directly and this step will be skip so if it is a new uh, uh, create new patient so uh, this is the um, action perform for uh, achieving this activity which is application request information so application request uh, application uh, request information is called and then come to the make a point uh, appointment arrangement so for both old patients and new patient this activity happens which is make a payment arrangements and then here three decisions are possible either create appointment cancel appointment or change appointment so these three are mutually exclusive and these three uh, then merge here so only one is possible either uh, appointment is changed cancel or create so and then this finish so if the appointment is changed so this is appointment action and this is uh, also appointment chain uh, action and there is no action so because the appointment is cancel and then it comes to the finishing now come to discuss the control nodes there are seven different types of control nodes in activity the initial final activity final flow decision merge fork and joining the initial node portrays the beginning or set of action or activity this is the initial start the final node is used to stop the process being the model any time the final activity model uh, node is reached all action and activity are ended immediately regardless of whether they are completed or not final activity node is represented as a circle uh, surrounding a small field in circle making it resemble like a bull's eye and this is the um, and a final flow node is similar to final activity Uh, except that it stop a specific path of execution through a business process so this is actually for stop this means you cannot proceed it further this is finishing and this is stop but allow the other concurrent or parallel paths to continue so it this is used to stop a particular action or activity 
so a final flow node is shown as a small circle with an x inside now we have two important more concepts used and followed mostly the decision and merge so the decision and merge node support the modeling the decision structure of business process uh, the decision node is used to represent the actual test condition that is used to determine which of the path ex ex exiting the decision node is to be traversed in this case each of the ex uh, exiting paths must be labeled with a guard condition so remember that when decision is taken mutually exclusive paths uh, um, then flows and then we combine these two so combine this dot mean that these two will be uh, both, both will uh, occur at a time only one uh, activity can occur so we will use this uh, sign so uh, when we decision is taking we will put this round uh, diamond shape and the end when uh, activity is finished or the particular activity is uh, accomplished so we will again use this uh, diamond and will then merge the merge node is used to bring back together multiple mutually exclusive paths mutually exclusive path as i already said are not uh, running in parallel but only one either this or either this so this one is called merging so merging is used for decision remember fork and joins nodes allow parallel and concurrent process so this one is a fork a perpendicular line to this arrow and it shows uh, a perpendicular line to this arrow and two more activities flows so this means when fork is used rather than a diamond um, sign for um, decision if fork is used this means these two activities run in parallel the fork node is used to split the behavior of business process into multiple parallel concurrent flows unlike the decision node the paths are not mutually exclusive both paths are executed concurrently for example the fork node is used to show that two concurrent parallel processes are to be executed however the process of join is similar to merge but merge is used in uh, decision and fork this is fork so the concept is same the join the join and merging concept is same but merge is used in decision and for join is used along with the fork so the join node simply bring backs together the parallel or concurrent flows in business process into single flow this is the example of pizza order start activity one is receiving order decision is taken either accept or reject so if it is accepted so fill the order and then we have two concurrent process so if order is uh, filled uh, so it is placed ship order and the parallel activity is the send invoice uh, and this is the action uh, this is the activity and this is the action uh, invoicing make payment and accept payment and so these two parallel activities combined using this fork so ship ordering and payment uh, receipt uh, is attached and then uh, merging occur so merging is with the uh, when the order is rejected so the, the here two possibility uh, one was acceptance of this order and one was rejection so rejection and accept and then uh, merge so this is a decision and merge merge is used along with the decision and then uh, this is fork and this is joining so in fork the two parallel activities runs and then parallel activities then come uh, join so this is the joining this is the merging and then the next activity is closing order and then finishing but cancel order request signal can also be generated so order can be cancelled so rejection and cancel they are different cancel is from the user side and rejection is from uh, the shop side the uh, restaurant side this is activity diagram for point of sale point of sale is already explained using the use case sequence and class diagram so the first activity is login then we have three paths so this is like the um, 
decision so we can either go to uh, customer or we can go to the products or to the supplier so products entry and customer entry are combined this means fork is used these two can uh, run in parallel then sell entry and after sell entry we have to further uh, activities that run in parallel that is debit entry credit entry and then these two combine and uh, enter into customer accounts but customer uh, entry um, from customer entry we can go to the payment credit section and when uh, uh, time passes eventually the payment can also be entered here similar is the case with the uh, purchasing so this was all about the activity diagram so hope you understood uh, thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much